Okay, this is Mr. Westfall today with a video tutorial. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to remove a CPU from its socket. So the first thing you want to do is protect yourself from ESD or electrostatic discharge using your anti-static wristband, which I should have on hand right here, but I do not because I'm breaking my own rules. Okay, then you wanna open up the case and you want to identify where the CPU is, okay? If we look at the motherboard, we see the big heat sink here, and this is obviously sitting on top of the CPU, as you should already know, and it is secured by one, two, three, four screws. These are sprung screws, if you take a look you notice that they have springs in them. So be very careful when removing those with tools, okay? And it's a specific bit, it's called a Torx bit. Now you could use a slotted screwdriver too, but if you look and see that it's a star, there is a specific bit for that, and it should be somewhere here in my toolkit, you see? See the T, that stands for Torx, T-R-O-Q or something, S or X, I forget how it's spelled. Okay, so you're gonna use one of those. So once you remove those four, the heat sink is going to come off like so. <clears throat> Let me take a seat here. Okay, so the CPU resides here and it's sitting in its own socket. What you have to do is you actually have to, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> you have to unlatch this because it's basically a door and you have to unlatch this to get at the CPU. So what we're gonna do is clip it over. This pops up, or it should, okay? Now you notice that there's a weird substance on the CPU. That's called thermal grease. And what thermal grease does is it forms a mechanical bond with the CPU and it is thermally conductive, meaning it transfers heat. So the easiest way I could explain this is, if you're at home and you have a piece of metal, a metal something, okay, and you lean that up against your heater, that piece of metal also gets hot, correct? Yes, it is thermally conductive. Now, the thermal grease on the CPU forms a mechanical bond with the bottom of the heat sink, okay? And then it transfers the heat from the CPU to the heat sink, or it aids in transferring that heat, okay? So once you, uh, once you get this all unlatched like this, you are gonna very carefully pick up on the CPU, and now I'm doing this left-handed because I'm videotaping, so it's a little shaky. You're gonna notice most likely pins this one doesn't have any, surprisingly, but um, a CPU normally has pins on the underside. Apparently the pins are on the CPU socket on this one, but you wanna very carefully remove the CPU from its socket. Now you do not want to touch the bottom. You wanna make sure that you are holding it at all times. You don't wanna set it down on the table like this because you don't wanna you know, risk damaging this. I eventually wanna put this back together and I want it to work, so, okay, so take it out your observations and then put it back in now if you take a look it only goes in one way okay there's like little notches both on the socket and the CPU itself right there okay so you cannot put it in like this don't force it okay obviously those aren't lining up so you have to make sure to line it up close the lid Close the latch, and then reinstall the heat sink. Okay, so that's how to remove a CPU from the motherboard. Okay, guys, I hope you found this very informative. And um, if you have any questions regarding the lab, please feel free to ask me. Thank you.